now everybody, I'm XRDemon27, and today I'm showing you my light dimmer. As we can see here, I have just a torsion item frame here, and as I twist it around the item frame, the light level becomes higher and higher, and I can even turn it back off, and just continue it going around. So the redstone for this is just down here, and basically what it is is a line of redstone lamps with some redstone on top of it. The main concept for this comes from the latest snapshot, and it's where if you have an item in an item frame, depending on its rotation, it will give off a certain signal from the comparator. So basically what I have set up here is just these comparators are connecting all up to the, each other, and then they connect up to these redstone lamps right here. Each time I rotate the torch up there, it gives one more signal of this redstone lighting up another lamp all the way up to this last one right here, and then shines through the enchantment table right here. To build this, you're going to need seven redstone lamps, a transparent block, a item frame, an item to put in the item frame, and then a variable amount of blocks, redstone, and redstone comparators. So let's take this all out and begin building. First thing you're going to want to do is find the area where your light is going to be coming out of. You can put it in the ceiling and floor, but I'm doing mine on the wall. Then behind it, you're going to put a chain of seven redstone lamps. And then at the end, put a tail of two blocks, and then redstone on top of all of this, except for the last block right here. Then you're going to find where your switch is going to be. My switch is going to be right here, and you're going to take a redstone comparator directly out of the back of it. This is going to be followed by some redstone and then a block, but you can really put it in any order you want. Next thing you're going to do is come back over here, and you're going to connect a redstone comparator directly up to that, and then just connect the two. And th this distance will vary depending on where your switch is. That's why there's a variable amount of blocks, redstone, and redstone comparators. That's one of the downfalls of this, but it's something you're going to have to deal with. Also, it'll always attach to the end right here, never attach it to the front. The last thing you're going to want to do is put a tube around these redstone lamps right here. This is so no outside light interferes with it like these torches. So let's finish this up. And then last but not least, you're going to put your switch on whatever block you chose, put the item in it, and let's get rid of these torches so we can actually see better. And then just flip it around and it will uh, light up. So I've come up with a few applications for this. Now first off the redstone can be kind of big so I came up with a way of getting double use out of this. So we have the same light system right here hooked up to the wall. But if we go across the wall right here it also goes through this side too. So you have two rooms lit up by the same redstone. Another really good use for this would be display cases like this one right here. Because uh, one of the big issues with this is if it's turned off, then mobs can spawn, of course. So you'd either have to have a peaceful world or an area that can't spawn mobs, like down here, a slabbed off room. And also, uh, areas like this are in basements, kind of supposed to be a little bit dark, so something like this would work well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you want to see more like it, subscribe. And I'll see you later.